morning everybody. We're going to continue learning about crabs today. Do you remember the hermit crab? This is the hermit crab. Isn't it amazing? Such a beautiful creature that lives on our beaches. I'm going to put it back after the story, back on the beach. Today I'm going to read the story to you. It's called A House for Hermit Crab. We're going to learn about all the different creatures that live in the, on the beach. Next time you go to the beach, have a look for some hermit crabs. So here we are. Listen to the story. It's time to move, said hermit crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt snafe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit crab stepped out of the shell and onto the ocean floor. Ooh. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me? He thought, I must find a new home soon. Early in February, hermit crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wriggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looks so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live in my house? It's so plain, it needs you. I will come, whispered a small sea anemone. And gently, hermit crab fixed it onto his shell. In April, hermit crab passed a flock of starfish. This is a starfish moving slowly along the ocean floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled the little sea star, and carefully Hermit Crab picked it up and placed it on his shell. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked Crusty Coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Now his shell is becoming more and more beautiful. In June, Hermit crab saw some snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris. How tidy and hard working you are, said the hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to come and clean my house? I will, offered one of the little snails. Happily, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab met some sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? You see, the coral doesn't want to stick. Where's the sea urchin? Can you see the sea urchin over here? Spiky sea urchin. I would, answered the spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, hermit crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Now he has a sea anemone, some coral, a starfish, a snail, sea urchin, 
Wow, what else is he going to put on his beautiful shelf? In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of algae. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like night time, cried the sea urchin. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting amongst the seaweed. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish and swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of pebbles in the sand on the beach. Here are some pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, said the pebbles. And Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, said the Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed to be too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. How can I leave them? What's he going to do? He's got such a beautiful home and all his friends live together so happily. In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell too, said the small hermit crab. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. So they're going to change shells. So they swap shells. In January, the hermit crab stepped out of his shell and the little one took his. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said hermit crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but hermit crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house. A big empty shell. Wow, it looked, well, a little plain. He crept inside. But then he thought of all the things he could decorate his house with. Sponges, he thought, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. <gasps> There are so many possibilities, I can't wait to get started. Hooray! There we are. That's the story all about the hermit crab. And there is our real hermit crab, all the way from the beach. We have to be very, very careful with him. Otherwise, he will get scared. I'm going to put him back on the beach now. Bye.